The vertical angles theorem is used any time or can be used any time two lines cross to form uh, angles that appear to be opposite or directly across from one another. In other words, if I have a pair of lines like this, uh, we just made two sets of vertical angles. Angle 1 and 2 are directly across from each other. And as a result, those angles, because they're formed by two intersecting lines, those angles are congruent. And we can make little marks here like this to show that they are congruent. In other words, angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. We're going to use the vertical angles theorem uh, interchangeably. If we want to just say that they're equal, the vertical angles theorem technically says that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, but you can also use it to say the measure of angle 1 equals the measure of angle 2. That's how we'll use it in our course. Again, let's review. When two lines cross, and I'm going to draw another pair of lines that cross, we have four angles that are formed. And so let's number them. One, two, three, and four. And what we have here is actually two sets of congruent vertical angles. So in this case, angle 1 and 3 are congruent. Angle 1 congruent to angle 3. And likewise, angles 2 and 4 are congruent. And we could say angle 2 is congruent to angle 4. That's the vertical angles theorem. It simply says that a pair of vertical angles are congruent or have the same measure.